So I've been using the Apple Watch Ultra for two years now, and yes, it is worth every penny, even though the brand new Apple Watch Ultra 3 and the Series 10 is set to release this fall. Subscribe to the channel for coverage on those, but why exactly? If you happen to practice extreme sports, want durability and style, the Apple Watch Ultra is going to best suit you. On the right side, it has this protrusion which housed the digital crown and side button, while on the left side has the speaker grill which is incredibly loud. And underneath that, you have the action button which stands out compared to the other Apple Watches. That is going to allow you to set different action shortcuts such as the flashlight, starting a workout, just to name a few. Currently, I have it set to the flashlight while the screen gets super bright, coming in at 2000 nits of brightness. And with the Ultra 2, you're getting an eye pop in 3000 nits of screen brightness. And with those bells and whistles aside, this is the same Apple Watch that you know and love, same watch OS 10. Although you do have some exclusive watch faces for the Ultra, just designed specifically for the Ultra screen, coming in at 49 millimeters which is the largest Apple Watch that Apple has ever made. But with the Ultra 3, it's set to be even bigger. But if you're upgrading your old Apple Watch, you're gonna love the Ultra for sure. And if this is your first ever Apple Watch, you're in for a treat. I use the Ultra to track my workouts at the gym. I also use the sleep tracking. And one of my favorite features, the camera remote control to control my iPhone for snapping pictures which come in super handy when you don't have nobody there to help you take a picture. And it goes without saying, I use my Apple Watch to tell time and check notifications. By the way, this titanium band is from Nomad. This is one of my favorite Apple Watch bands of all time. It matches perfectly with the ultra titanium material. And also I use the official Alpine loop. Um, I think Apple did a good job designing that while keeping the comfortability and it looks cool, I must say. If you guys wanna see my Apple Watch collection, let me know down in the comments down below. Now, without a doubt, this is Apple's most durable product that they ever made. You have the titanium finish, like I mentioned before, and you have a sapphire crystal glass for the screen, which is the second hardness on the scale next to diamond. But I do notice some dinks and scrapes on the titanium chassis. And from a distance, you're not going to see it, but really close up, you can clearly see some wear and tear. But in terms of that sapphire glass, not even a fingerprint on there. It, it is actually pretty incredible on how strong that sapphire crystal glass really holds up. And I encourage everybody to get a Apple Watch with the sapphire crystal, which is the ultra, of course, and the stainless steel Apple watches It's going to remain its pristine condition. Now we just need sapphire glass on the iPhone's display, but that would probably be an arm and a leg, but Apple make it happen. Now, in terms of the battery life upon release, it was absolutely incredible. I can easily squeeze out two days, which is pretty good for a smartwatch. And I even applaud Apple for even making a big difference coming from the Series 7 in my book or even the Series 8. Well, the Series 8 came out with the Ultra. Coming from the Series 7, in my case, to the Ultra was a day and night difference when it came down to the battery life. But just like anything, anything with lithium iron battery is going to degrade throughout time. Currently, my battery health is sitting at 91%, which is not bad, but I definitely do notice the battery life is getting worse throughout time. So I found myself needing to charge my Ultra more frequently. If you're getting the Ultra for the first time, you're not gonna worry about this. You're gonna notice um, it's about 36 hours of battery life. So 1.5 to two days, depending on your use case scenario, that's gonna vary. And what's even more insane, pairing that up with that amazing battery life, you can activate low power mode to squeeze out even more. Um, I found myself not using that. Maybe I should try doing that. I'm not really a low power kind of guy. I like to use everything on the Apple Watch Ultra, but I'll give this a shot. So low power mode is gonna disable that always on display, which I find myself using pretty much anytime when I'm working out. I can always see the time that I have left for this workout and my heart rate, my calories that I'm burning. So, and according to Apple, that would last you 72 hours which is bananas. Now, as I stated in the beginning of the video, buy the Ultra now, because this year is gonna be an incremental upgrade for the Ultra. Rumors are pointed towards a larger and brighter display. And of course, alongside with that, you have the S10 chip, bringing extra performance. But 
the ultra is not slow it's going to perform all your tasks nice and smooth and more than likely we will see some sort of new health sensor implemented apple please give us more color options for the ultra although the natural titanium finish looks nice I'm sure we would love to see a black Apple Watch or even a blue Apple Watch, something that would match with the iPhone. Now in terms of the Apple Watch Series 10, well, that's for another video. Make sure you guys subscribe if you guys wanna see that and comment down below. Now, just a side note, if you're on a tight budget, Apple sells certified refurbished Apple Watch Ultras for $589. Now it is only the Ultra 1, but the difference between the Ultra 1 and the 2 is pretty incremental. All you're getting is a faster chip, the double tap functionality and the brighter display but for 589 dollars opposed to spending 799 that's a pretty good deal i would say now you can even roll the dice on ebay for even better deals but that's entirely up to you if the ultra is not your speed exactly check out my review of the series 7 as i believe that that is the perfect apple watch for most people that is on a budget and yeah that's my two year later review of the apple watch ultra i love it i wear it every single day sleeping working out every single day and maybe there's one occasion where i might take it off and put on a fancier watch for going out or for any other special occasions but for the most part this is always on my wrist